Hello everyone. And uh, it's a fairly cloudy day in the Yorkshire Dales. Doing a short ride today. I'm going to uh, check out some limestone pavement. Turning right here. And uh, up above us, to the left, is Twistleton Scar. It's a big limestone outcrop near uh, Ingleborough, just above Ingleton. Well, I'm not going to fall that today because it's freezing, so I'm going to use the bridge. Pretty. This valley is called Kingsdale and you can't see it but up in the clouds there is Wernside and then Twistleton Scar just kind of runs out here and then this, this stream here is um, the one which uh, drops down into Ingleton Falls so if you've ever done the famous Ingleton Falls walk this is the, the stream that feeds into that and you've got some more limestone uh, outcrops up there and there's a good bridle way that runs across the top of that as well actually you have to kind of do a bit of a hiker bike to get up to it um, past a cave it's all cave and limestone around this part of the dales it's gorgeous this is where the uh, people walking in the Ingleton Falls actually pop out so if you've ever done that walk you might recognize this bit this is the top end of that walk and uh, there's a very optimistic ice cream van today <laughs> thank you Dropping down on a bit of tarmac now to meet the main road. This is the farm lane. Ah, someone's opening the gate for me. Brilliant. <laughs> yeah, just choosing um, a fairly easy, steady ride today. Nothing technically difficult. Um, and uh, the reason for that is I've been off the bike for about a month because um, the last ride I did with uh, Andy from the Trail Finder channel was um, up Hell Valley and then coming off Hell Valley I had a bit of a tumble and um, a couple of days later I just started feeling my ribs sort of really hurting and couldn't lie on one side and it was uh, hurting when I was coughing and sneezing and stuff like that, so I've not had it checked out, but I suspect it's the cracked or bruised ribs and they're uh, only just starting to feel okay now, half a month later, so I'm just coming to uh, test the ribs today. Nice steady ride. All the sheep in front heading somewhere. Got the farm up the hill on a quad above me. They're all running the line in over there. <laughs> to the right in the clouds, can't really see it, is uh, Ingle Ingleborough. If you were to, there's a road off to the right there, which is the main Ingleton to um, Hawes Road over Newby Head Pass. Goes past the Ribblehead Viaduct. And this road is the, uh, the old road. And I believe this is. Uh, a former Roman road. Well, at least some of it is. We're just going below the uh, the scar now. I'm going to be up there later. Nice quiet lane. This hardly seen any traffic at all. There's one car to come past, and that was a postman. <laughs> 
can just about get a glimpse of the uh, slopes of Ingleborough there. But it's firmly in the cloud. It runs across there, but the summit's up that way. Up in that cloud there somewhere. Picturesque little church. Fairly steep climb. That's a lovely moss on the rocks. Unusual statue, so if you can make that out. Just by the side of the trail. Heard from the trees and it's opened up a bit and you've got the big bulk of Wernside. There's something up there somewhere in the clouds. Wernside is the uh, tallest of the three peaks, in case you didn't know. Might just be a little bit far away for the camera, but just there where the trees come to uh, the end of the tree line, just behind that is Ribblehead Viaduct. Possibly one of the most famous railway bridges in England. <laughs> yeah, there's a little ford, there's not much water in the stream at the minute. But if you go turn right here, that takes you to Ribblehead Viaduct. But I'm actually Gonna go left here. Heading back south west. It's a bit soft in places. And uh, you can see the tire tracks already embedded into the mud. Probably if you're gonna do uh, a ride over here, it's good to pick a clearish day. Because there's not many uh, features on the ground. It's all open moorland, at least for this bit. If you go uh, in this direction, heading southwest, then it's uh, an ever so slight climb for most of the way up. And you get a descent off the scour at the end. Whereas if you come the other way, you get a steep climb at the beginning. And it's ever so slightly gradual downhill all the way back down this way. So we go up one side up there. You can't really see it. And then Ribblehead Viaduct. And then you can see Ingleborough. And I don't know if you can see, there's some limestone pavement in the foreground. And we're going up there. It's been a uh, fairly dryish week, so the ground's not too bad. I can imagine it getting quite squelchy um, in wetter periods. It's uh, running quite firm today, just a few soft bits, a few puddles. Nice cross country ride in this. It's a bit of a maze. Trying to follow the line of the path through all this limestone. There <laughs> seems to be lots of different options take you off in different directions. Just trying to work out which one's the right way. 
there's a big boulder on the horizon maybe for that I don't know if that's the right way, but that's what I'm aiming for. <laughs> There's that big boulder I was looking for. Come along here to there. Gorgeous limestone scenery over there. And then the path seems to follow through those boulders. They look like they've been positioned as way markers at some point. God knows how old or how long they've been there. And then we're heading to where there's some people walking on the distant horizon. I think that's probably Scar End and the path down will be around there somewhere. Going through those way marker boulders. Some Bradway post, blue post to inspire confidence. This bit was probably quite buggy at one point. I filmed it up with some stones. Whoa, hang on a minute, let's have a look at this. One thing you have to be careful in this neck of the woods. These sinkholes, man-eating sinkholes. It's like the, uh, the pit in Return of the Jedi, Jabba Hutt's pit. <laughs> in miniature limestone shape. Into in a uh, an obviously cut path into the limestone. Perhaps a pack horse cut or for mining the limestone. I don't know. Guessing. Looks man made though. I'm quite old. And it is pretty treacherously slippy. And just in front, a view is emerging of the Loon Valley and the Irish Sea beyond. And that's a uh, pretty nice view. Careful on this limestone. So there could be rain coming in from over there. See the sea. The river loon goes down there somewhere. More limestone over there on the next fell. Stunning scenery. And then, oh, first glimpse of the summit of Ingleborough over there. Clouds lifted for the first time off the top. I was going to um, have a sandwich up here, but I think it's a good idea to try and get down. Before that rain makes this already slippy limestone even slippy. <laughs> any confidence in this stuff. <laughs> when it's dry it can give quite good grip but it's just there's like a tiny bit of moisture on it. it just shines it. Stuff, particularly with crack ribs, 
suspected currently. Excuse me. Move on this bit. Back on the path at the top of Young Ingleton Falls water. A few more people looking about. There's the uh, Ingleton Falls walk and people streaming up. Excuse me. Thanks very much. Nice byway. Keep slide a bit coming up. And we're back at the uh, river. Still not going to afford it. Some image of the day is a cheddar and ham and uh, eating it at the end of the ride instead of about halfway through for a change because it's only a short ride very good the blue sky there now oh well that's come from just climbing back to the car now the end of the ride. The ribs feel okay. A um, bit wary of going over anything slight and dicey, but he felt okay, no real issues. So that's a good sign. I think I'll just uh, maybe do one or two more steady rides like this. That gives him a bit more time to heal, and then I'll be away again, hopefully. So uh, thanks for watching again, hope you enjoyed it and uh, see you next time.